What is going on everyone? I hope you are having a great day. Welcome back to Chasing Brews. Today I'm super excited because I'm hitting a shop up that I've been wanting to hit up for a long time. And honestly, the location is not what I expected, but it's right behind me. Craft Beer Kings. Now, if you guys don't know about Craft Beer Kings, it's a shop online where you can buy stuff. Um, you can buy pretty much any kind of craft beer in the LA area that you want. Order it online, get it shipped to yourself. But other than that, I've seen them on Instagram and they have a massive, massive beer collection. So I wanna go inside, check out what they have, show you guys what they have, and then pick up some stuff for a couple of beer trades I have and maybe something for myself. So let's find out what's inside. So far, I'm seeing some stuff that I didn't see at Bottle and Craft. Um, for instance, Galaxy and Comet from Hop Concept. I was looking for that last time. And then we have some new arrivals here from Aerolodge that I just saw on Instagram. Hop Dukin and a Sonic Brew. So if you guys are looking for latest drops like this place so far is looking good you saw misty elliott when i was at bottle and craft here's a bees, beer zombies king of haze uh, i've seen this triple berry milkshake double ipa i haven't tried it toolbox brewing company I've heard good things um, we got another la ale works pop dugan as i showed you guys and then uh from almanac beer co we have um the loud hazy double ipa probably really good and then as you can see there's just crazy options here like i don't even know where to start and i haven't even hit all of them yet just all sorts, all sorts of options. I think I landed in craft beer heaven. Now just look at behind me, like this is, it's pretty incredible. For a shop like this on the outside, other than it's saying craft beer kings, it doesn't really look like anything crazy, but on the inside, just wild, wild, wild options. Those fans are really loud. I'm sorry if you're having trouble hearing me. I've been looking to try some LA Ale Works. They have some, this is great. This is good stuff so far. Uh, looks like they have the breweries Mischief, a very cool option. I think they just started canning this, so it's cool to see it here. Not surprised about that one though. Um, some more toolbox right here. Um, some Novo, there's just some crazy stuff. I don't know what this is all about, this THC IPA from Hop Concept. That feels really good too. Um, some McKellar per usual. Cerveza Fresca, again, never have had this. Um, the options are just nuts. Wasn't expecting to see this here, Stereo. Shout out to Placentia, I used to live around there. Um, but as you can see, they have options that you normally see. What I see here is like typical stuff that I could find normal places. And then we have other stuff. We have some bootleggers, 10.99 for a four pack, not too bad. Um, and then just all, all of these kind of, I wanna say exotic beers, but I'm also just not good at finding good beer um, around my area. So I'm actually kind of out of my way today. This is about I don't know, 60, 70 miles from home and I was just in the area, so I decided to drop in. But check this out. This is from Aero Lodge Brewing. I've seen it before on Instagram. I didn't know where to get it. It's here. I don't know if I'm gonna get it, but I just thought this was cool. This is, I think in when LeBron James did his big move, this is called Pale to the King. It's a pale ale, dry hopped with Galaxy and Citra. So basically, what am I here for? What am I doing? Well, I mentioned two beer trades. I'm trading with two people from Instagram. One of them is suggesting saisons, uh, sours, um, kind of anything but IPA it seems. So I'm looking for something like that, maybe four, four cans or so. And then um, I'm buying stuff for someone else who's kind of into, it seems like everything, IPAs, stuff like that. So I'm gonna do a little bit of looking around then I'll let you guys know. What do you think you're gonna pay for a four pack here? Well, it kind of depends on what you're getting. For instance, um, this McKellar, Let's see what it is. Super Six Spells. Awesome name, by the way. 
It's $21.99 for a four. Um, so pretty standard. If we walk over to like um, LA Ale Works, Juicy IPA, again, another 24. And then how about something like Port Brewing Mongo? You know, it's not super rare, but still a good beer. It's a sixer for $13.99. So a little more for your money there. I've seen these toolbox ones before. Um, key Lime IPA Milkshake. Key Lime Pie IPA Milkshake, sorry. $24.99. I could, probably could have guessed that. One more, one more. Um, let's go with Stereo, a smaller brewing company than I was moving as many cans. Let's see. $19.99. So if you're balling on a budget, there's a hazy for you. Old world. It's gonna be in the $24.99 range for any rare four pack. I put that in quotes because it's rare for different people. Some of these are rare for me. You know, it's nice having a shop like this. I can't always get LA Ale Works. It's a bit of a drive. Their can releases are very popular right now and they're constantly doing them. And so maybe, maybe it'll get easier to get, but for now, a shop like this is crazy. So I'm gonna look for some single cans, show you guys the prices and then go from there. So let's check out what you can get for single options here. So I'll start with the uh, Galaxy and Comet from uh, Hop Concepts. $3.99, not too bad. You wanna come in, grab one. There's only two left, I may, I may grab one. Um, how about something like Hop Dukin that just came out? $6.99. I've seen a lot of cans here. What are the bottle options? Well, there are some. Here's a bomber fridge right here. A couple uh, ones that stick out to me are actually right in front of me. Uh, Belching Beaver Peanut Butter Milk Stout. We got Smog City's Coffee Porter. Mission Brewery's Dark Sea is like already three amazing ones. And then you have, of course, Palace Point. Um, some Stone right there. San Fernando Brewing Co. I have some good local stuff actually as far as bombers go. So behind me there's a few other options not in the fridge. I'll let you guys take a look. More bottles down here. Sour action up there looks like maybe here and there. Yep. Galaxy and Comet. Hop Dukin. I may try this West Coast double. Um, thinking about picking up an LA Ale Works. Uh, maybe two of those. And then something like a uh, Toolbox Brewing Co. There's honestly too much here for me to pick from. Um, it's all really good. Of course, you have your typical uh, wine and whatnot, but that's not exactly why we're here. Um, back here is um, regular regular drinks you normally find in any sort of liquor store. Nothing crazy. The craziness, as you've seen, is around the corner and behind. And we actually got this one yesterday. Oh, the not a pineapple beer? Yeah, so LA Elworks. They've been doing a lot of juicy IPs. Yeah. So it's one of them. Here's another one. Yeah. And then of course, the, the recent one. Yeah, and I'm definitely grabbing some of those because I can't get that oh, without yeah. driving to them, you know? Yeah. Um, this yeah. I definitely want to try. Aero Lodge's new thing. Dude, this one is amazing. This is the third yeah. time coming around. This one is brand new. We got it. We already got it earlier. This so they brewed that one before? Yeah, so it's already okay. their third one. This location. one's brand new, though. Yeah, it's okay, brand new. Okay, good for me to know. So, yeah. yeah. So it's mostly, would you say, IPAs coming through here? Or? Yeah, it's mainly the demand right now. Gotcha. So we have mainly IPAs, but of course we have everything else. Like we have our wheat beer, our stout, we want some six pack cans. Here's right here. We have um, again more more IPAs, Polish, and we have all our sours right here. All the sours. Okay, I was telling the camera that you guys did have some sours. They're indeed up here. How do you pronounce this? So it is fun. fun. Yeah, three fontaines. Three Fontaine, okay. Yeah, I was like, it could be Fontaine then, it could yeah. be something. Am I, am I expecting a sour out of, yeah. out of this guy? So that reminded me of the Cantillon, and honestly, I prefer it so much more than the Cantillon. But then again, I did only try this one. So okay. I'm yet to try this one and this one. Man, I heard this, this price, really good. 16 bucks. Dude, it's not, actually not that bad, because for the price of one Cantillon, you're looking at 25. Woo! So yeah, but that's mainly because of the rarity. Okay. But it's something to try at least once. So you could say you had it Seriously before. though, yeah. Uh, same thing with this. Like they're also rare, but they're very reasonable with the price. Right. And if you want to take one of these, I'll definitely do the Old Creek. Best sour I had in my life. And I drank so many before. This one? Yeah. Best sour, really. Well, thank you so much. Oh, I see right here. They have sours, ales. ales. Yeah. So it's all labels. Okay. I didn't pick up on that quite, quite so soon. I have Galaxy and Comet. I have not a pineapple beer, juicy double IPA. Then I have the Aero Lodge uh, Sonic Brew and Hop Dukin. This is for myself. Uh, and then for another trade, I have exactly the same two. Um, three, actually. I'm still working on a fourth. And then for someone else, 
I have this Berliner Weiss. Um, looks really good. Guava, all, all that. Final, final pickup. Pretty good load. I wanted to get more, but you know, you can only get so many. But that can, oh my God, I just love it. I love it. If you see anything you want me to try, let me know in the comments below and I'll go out of my way to uh, check it out. All right, guys, this is Ed. Really helped me out here. Honestly, I'm ready to go. Thank you, thank you so much. Thanks for having me. I'll shake up my left hand. It's weird, but thanks, Ed. And thanks to everyone else at um, Craft Beer Kings. I messaged them on Instagram. They were totally cool with me coming in here. Um, it's been a great time. I've been here for probably over half an hour, and I'm about to leave and go enjoy some of these. So. As I'm crossing the street here, I just have nothing but good things to say about Craft Beer Kings. Great selection, great people. By the way, this is not a sponsored video. I'm just saying this out of what I truly feel about it. If you're in California and you're anywhere remotely near their two locations, um, stop what you're doing, go check them out. They have all the cool recent can releases across LA, um, San Diego, you name it, it's there. But thank you so much for watching. Check out my Instagram, I post there quite a bit. Um, hit that notification bell, subscribe. Leave a comment if you want me to do anything else, see anything else, try any beer that you want me to try, let me know. Uh, it's been a pleasure making this video. I hope I can make it back to Craft Beer Kings. I'm not super close, so it'll be a while. But remember, you can order their stuff online. Pretty much anything they have here, you can get online, if not more. I don't know where they ship out from, but check them out. Thanks for watching. Peace. Peace.